Um, the Honourable Gentleman from Paisley and Renfrew Shoe North uh, made a, uh, some familiar points, uh, Mr Sharma. Uh, he described the UK government as being uh, blinkered. Um, but I would say, Mr Sharma, if I might, that the same charge might be made at him, letting down communities in Scotland uh, that uh, are reliant and determined to have nuclear power with fine nuclear traditions, and electricity customers benefiting from cheaper, more resilient, uh, lower uh, carbon electricity system going forward. He asked, why is this 1.7 billion in the Spenny Review for Sizewell C? It is not specific to Sizewell C. Um, he asked, uh, do we, uh, he said, we don't need nuclear to decarbonize. Well, actually, the United Nations, no less, Mr. Sharma, disagree with it. The UN Economic Commission for Europe stated that, quote, international climate objectives will not be met if nuclear power is excluded. And, of course, the ACORN cluster has not been rejected, Mr. Sharma. Uh, the ACORN cluster for the CCUS decision a few weeks ago is first reserved very much not rejected, but very much recognised, and we look forward to continuing to work with uh, the ACORN cluster. And he then, uh, Mr Sharma, then attacked um, um, the government for choosing uh, two projects that happened to be in the north of England and said it was some kind of uh, thing in, in, in favour of the, the government's levelling up agenda, and I think he sort of implied there might have been um, something not quite right about it. But actually, that's not the line that his party has been following in the last couple of weeks. His, mem his friend, the member for Kilmarnock and Loudoun, was here only two weeks ago, uh, Mr Sharma, congratulating the two successful clusters uh, on uh, being designated such by the UK government. 